What up YouTube? Good news about Apple. They actually launched in their press conference that they about to launch the 27 inch model LED cinema display together with, yeah yeah, the new Mac Pro. New Mac Pro will contain 12 processing cores which will lead to 24 actual with hyper threading virtual cores. So they will launch in August and those 12 cores will be clocked at 3.33 gigahertz in the most high-end model of this new Mac Pros. So it will be 50% greater performance than the previous generation. That's what they say about it. So it will probably be correct so it you can buy the new the latest quad core you will be able to buy a six core you will be able to buy a eight core you will be able to buy a 12 core processing xeon processor also the new models will contain new ati graphics which will lead you to one gig of video ram instead of 512 megabytes of video RAM also the this will be able with 512 gigabytes of solid state drives so they will be able to replace the normal 7200 RPM drives with actual SSDs this is really a great feature and 512 gigabytes is really worth the price it's really a lot of storage and for an operating system even if it's already a Mac operating system it will be a lot faster also it will be new amazing performance as they already say so 12 cores that's a lot of that's actually 24 times 3.33 gigahertz actually contain it will contain 12 megabytes of L3 cache to improve efficiency that means the programs will run a lot of faster also the latency is good with turbo boost they will be able to clock those high-end models to 3.6 gigahertz if not all, all of the cores are used hyper threading will enable 24 virtual cores and the new Mac Pro as I already said will be able to drive ATI 5770 graphic processor with 1 gigabyte of RAM and in the high-end models you will be able to get a 5870 1 gig of video RAM those SSD is us are really good for performance in any operating system and as I already mentioned those new video cards will enable one dual link DVI and will be able to drive another 30 inch or just a normal 27 inch with those LEDs in it it will have a dual link DVI and a DVI based resolution of 2560 by 1600 that will be able to run a mini display port it will be able to run two mini display ports out of it so the Apple will contain in its package to normal m Apple magic mouse and if you want a magic trackpad to play with that is actually comparable to a trackpad you get in a MacBook Pro so with a trackpad to get your mouse and other tap to click options so for that you will have to pay $69 and you can actually buy it at the moment now you won't have to wait until August to buy that one so it's for power consumption efficiency it will get a 5.0 energy star which is really brilliant of it and it will only get you about $29 a year for power consumption that's really great for such a powerful 
computer like that. It will contain Mac OS X Snow Leopard. They don't know if it's already be a new model because every developer gets its own copy of a new version of Mac OS X Snow Leopard, but it's just in beta now, so we don't know if it's gonna be launched in a month or it's gonna be launched after the launch of the Mac Pro. That we don't already know. So the applications will include Aperture, Final Cut Express, Final Cut Studio, Logic Express and Logic Studio. So what will you actually going to buy in the Mac Apple Store? So you will be able to buy a new quad core that will have changed is actually the ATI Radeon HD 5770 with 1 gig of GDR5 video RAM. Also what will be better is the Bluetooth connection 2.1 instead of 2.0 and you will be able to expand the RAM with until 16 gigabytes of RAM for the rest it's the same as the model now then the 8 core uh, MacBook Mac Pros sorry for that Mac Pros will contain also new graphics and new mini display ports and DVI connections what about those 6 cores well you will have 3 options for the 6 cores you will have 2.66 2.93 and 3.33. 3.33 is actually the really high end model and will contain a Xeon V3680 that will probably not say nothing to you but do the math 12 times 3.33 in a normal situation and ex in an extreme rendering situation it will actually have 24 times 3.33 gigahertz that's actually more than a normal server has at the moment so that's really great the 8 cores and also to 12 cores will be able to get 33 gigabytes of RAM that's probably more than any humankind will need ever in its life so that's actually great also so as I already mentioned the solid state drives will be able to contain in 4 of the drive base that's actually the max performance of a Mac Pro for drive base. If you want to expand with another drive you will have to pay for the RAID card in it. Which will actually make it a lot more faster. Then in here they have benchmarking results if you want to read them just go to the link in the description and read them for yourself. I'm not going to read them for you. So if the new Mac Pro launches in August it will also ship with the new 27 inch LED cinema display with which which will have actually a resolution of 2560 by 14 140 which is 60 percent more real estate of a 24 inch LED cinema display this is actually really good if you want uh, to compare what resolution that actually is 2560 is the same as a 30 inch and a 1440 is actually the same as the Dell U2711 resolution it will have a universal MagSafe connector, a built-in eyesight video camera and microphone, will have speakers and a powered USB 2.0 hub. Also it will be available for 999 which is great. If you compare this screen to a Dell U2711 model, it's actually less expensive. That's great because if the screen is Apple like performance it will be better also it's a 16.9 uh, for 16.9 it's great for uh, f movies and others so if you want to go to the store and buy these products it won't be available now but it will be in August and the new iMacs have actually replaced with an i3 and the magic trackpad is 
also available for $69. If you want to play with those, you can always do that. For the Mac Pro and the cinema display, you will have to wait until August. Subscribe for more and of course, LiveGeek signing out.